show that the line y is equal to 3x minus 4 is a tangent to the curve y is equal to x squared minus x. Now this curve, uh, I hope you know, is the equation of the parabola and this is a line. So when they're asking us to show that this is a tangent to this curve, which is a parabola, basically we have to show that there's only one point of intersection between this line and this curve, which is a parabola. If we can show that there's only one point of intersection, this we have to do it algebraically. You can also do it graphically. Uh, we, if we can show it algebraically, there's only one point of intersection. That's what they want. Okay, so let's, uh, this is the equation, y is equal to 3x minus 4 and y is equal to x squared minus x. So, so this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. So the left hand side of equation 1 and 2 are equal, so the right hand side can be equated. So that's what I've done. This implies x squared minus x is equal to 3x minus 4. So now making a quadratic equation, so you're taking away 3x from this side and adding 4 to this side. So you do the same thing, minus 3x plus 4. And that's what we have got, minus 3x, sorry, x squared minus x, minus 3x plus 4 is equal to 0. So this has become a quadratic equation of x squared minus 4x minus, plus 4 is equal to 0. Now this is a perfect square of x minus 2 the whole squared. So this, if x minus 2 the whole squared is 0, logically you can understand this has to be 0 because square of only 0 is 0. 0 squared is only 0. If you square any other number, that's always going to be positive. So logically I can say this has to be 0 and that's what I've done. So x minus 2 is 0. And if x minus 2 is 0, uh, x has to be 2. So, and then you can substitute in either one of the equation. So, we have got y is equal to 3x minus 4. I saw, I'm going to substitute x as 2 in the equation. So, y is equal to 3 times 2 minus 4, which is 2. So, y is equal to 2, which means when x is 2, y is 2. So, there's only one point of intersection. And that's what I have stated. This implies that 2, 2 is the only point of intersection between the line 3x minus 4 and the parabola x squared minus x. Now, if you have a graphic calculator, so let me delete this. You can go to graph menu and type in 3x minus 4, which would be a line. And uh, y2, you can type in x squared minus x. So the first is a line and the next is a parabola. And then you go to GSOL intersect, which is 2 comma 2. 2, 2 is the point of intersection. Or you can also see this line is a tangent. It's intersecting at only one point. 